I conducted a robustness test on my balancing robot and I would like to share the results with you. Here is the robot balancing normally. Even with small pushes, it quickly comes back upright. Now I've attached a bar to the side that shifts the center of gravity away from the center line. But as you can see, it still keeps itself upright. Let's make even harder. I will place my smartphone at the at the end of the bar. That puts even more weight to the side. The robot dips for a moment, then finds a new balance point all by itself. So, how does it work? What makes this possible is something called LQR, Linear Quadratic Regulator. It might sound complicated, but believe me, it's a simple idea. First, we define the, the state variables, the variables, the parameters we're dealing with. In our case, it's an angle, it's an angular velocity, we have the position of the robot and the velocity of the robot. Once we define them, LQR allows us to combine all these variables into a single control signal. So every variable is multiplied by the gain and, and the sum of, of these multiplications uh, define, defines the power, the input to the system, in our case, to the robot. So in our case, we control the acceleration of the robot. So the next question is how can we define the gains of the, of the LQR? So for that, we have the cost function. So the cost function allows us to compromise between the control and, and the power. So from one side, we want to converge to the stable point as soon as possible. We want the controllability. From other side, we don't want to spend too much energy, too much power to control our system. So this cost function allows us to tune these uh, two sides of the, of the control unit. Once we define the cost function, we have a simple um, function called uh, LQR in MATLAB and, and it, uh, it uh, generates the gain and this gain will allow us, allow us to minimize the, the cost function we defined. Next, um, how can we implement this idea within the microcontroller? It's also pretty simple. First, we have, as I said, angle, angular velocity, we have the position and the velocity of the robot. Then I have a apply LQR. So here I have the functions, uh, the gains I defined, and every variable is multiplied by the corresponding gain, and we take the sum. And this output is the acceleration of the, of the motors, so I have to integrate them to obtain the velocity. So this is how it works. And also I want to say uh, honestly that I'm not a control system expert. I know really basics and the essentials and these basic algorithms already allow me to control the robots and to achieve the decent results. And uh, regarding the rest of the project, like computing the angle, the controlling the motor, they are beyond the objectives of this video. I have a separate course that explains every detail of building the balancing robot from scratch. So you can refer to, to that course if you want to get comprehensive guidance on building the balancing robot. And even if you don't take that course, I hope you found something interesting from this video and you have clear idea how to implement the control feedback within the microcontroller. If it is the case, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. So see you soon.